We gotta stop dancing. We're so light. Episode 11 brought to you by Fresh Books. Welcome to the Kick Awesome Show, episode 11. 11. I'm Nate Cross. And I'm Jonathan Longnecker. And this week we have high fives going out to a website that gives you a free t shirt. The best do it yourself watch like ever. Awesome. We've also got a question about our backup plan. And our problem and solution this week involves a cool new feature in Photoshop that makes me a happy, happy Nate. And don't forget about designer's music because this week we're taking it all the way to 11. Tonight! We're woman! My high five this week goes out to Engine Works. Engine Works gave me this free shirt and I'm so excited because I got a free shirt. And even better, if I take a picture of myself in this shirt, I get another free thing. I love free stuff. It's like a light pin thing. I don't even know what it does, but I'm so excited. You don't understand. <laughs> Come on, let's do this. Let's take pictures. Show me something sexy, Carrie. Are you a fierce tiger? No, you're not. You're not even a little pansy. All right, windblown look. Windblown. Your jacket's flapping in the wind. Oh, you're looking fabulous. That is so great. Somebody give me some tea. Oh, it's all right. We're going to get a few of these, a few of those. This is fantastic. Beat that, suckers. My high five this week goes out to the best do-it-yourself watch ever. Most watches come already done it somebody else, but this one you have to put together a little bit. See? My wrist is kind of naked. But, if I put a watch on it, it wouldn't be. And I was looking for a watch. But, they all kind of were stupid because they just told time. Which I know a watch is supposed to do, but it's kind of boring. I hate unitaskers. I like multitasking even on top of my naked wrist. So, I found that you can put an iPod Nano 6G into this little like wristband strappy deal. And it's a watch. And a music player. And a watch. And a MP3 player. And a little TV player and a watch. Did I mention it's a watch? Because it's a watch. And it covers your wrist. It's like all in the future and crap. Watch. It's good. Our question this week comes from Marcus Neto. Neto, 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 Neto. I don't know how you say it. Marcus asks, hey, Necker47, what do you do to ensure a lack of data loss? Well, Marcus, we're in luck because we have a Troy. Thanks for asking, Marcus. Well, what we do, I can assure you, first off, that the backups are in good hands. I was homeschooled, so needless to say, I have my stuff together. What I do is I take a photo as they're designing on the computer, the screen part. And then what I do is I go back to my cabin in the Smokies, where using logs that I've chopped down with my bare hands, mind you, uh, I etch them into the logs with a thimble. Does that make sense to you? I don't think it would. You went to public school. <laughs> Your problem may be that your website is not Kick Awesome. Thankfully, the shameless self-promoters and makers of the Kick Awesome Show, 47 Media, that's Nate John. We make websites every day, and we can make yours awesome too. So get in touch with us at 47media.com. My problem this week is robot arms. What? Yes, robot arms. You see, here on the Kick Awesome Show, I occasionally need to use a good robot arm, but robot arms are always straight, which is not as flexed as I need it to be. You never see robots flexing enough. I mean, like, have you ever seen like a really nasty flex from a robot? No, you haven't. So in Photoshop, I had things like liquify and transform and all that kind of junk, but it was not elegant. So in CS5, Photoshop gave me the puppet warp, where you set joints and then you move to puppets. Like, I make a straight robot arm with a shoulder and an elbow and a wrist, then I go, and it bends it, and then I can go, and I got a flexy robot arm. So to you, Puppet Warp, I have composed a humble ode. When the robot arm's too long, you must warp it. When the position is all wrong, you must warp it. Did a joint. Bend it back. It's no trouble. Photoshop attack. Warp it. Won't be good. My music pick this week is Spacesuit EP1. It's rock and roll worship music with choirs. I love it. I love this stuff. I can't help it. So here's the thing. It's also free. Five songs of free goodness. Put on your spacesuit. You go to spacesuitmusic.com and get it right now. My music pick this week 
is particularly special to my heart. It's music with a cause. You see, I, I love musicians that want to do something for the planet. And these next bunch of fellas are doing their best to rid the world of foo. That's right, Foo Fighters, the color and the shape. Uh, everybody's probably got this album. It's really, really good. Dust it off, turn it up way loud, and then just get some of this on. When I say things like time tracking and client invoicing, what's your reaction? <laughs> Us too, apparently. But it doesn't have to be that way. No, FreshBooks knows our pain and makes billing fast, easy, and dare I say, fun. <laughs> Get paid. Uh, cash goes in my hand. Woo! Try it for free at FreshBooks.com. Don't forget to enter Kick Awesome Show in the How Did You Hear About Us box. Then they'll know that you have excellent taste in web shows and online invoicing. Na 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 Thank you guys so much for all the birthday wishes. We both have November birthdays and that was really, really cool. Thanks a lot. You guys are the best. Thanks guys. That's it. Episode 11 is finished. She's done. It's done. So, don't miss the next one. Make sure you're following us on Twitter.com slash KickAwesomeShow. And YouTube.com slash KickAwesomeShow. And me, the Facebook.com slash you have to search for the Kick Awesome Show. And the iTunes podcast. And the RSS feeds. That's right. So until next time. Don't buddy your muffins before you bake. <laughs> and just back up and just <laughs> well what kind of backup do you plan <laughs> kind of ah! you, know, you take a photo yeah just a little snapshot you don't save the files only Jesus can save files <laughs> <laughs> our question comes to us this week we should be I've got the giggles. You can look up my website at www.troy's freeze dried laser dogs. <laughs> <laughs> but since I was homeschooled, I really didn't get a chance to get into a fair job. Um, so this is kind of what I do to make a living. Uh, it's not much. I wouldn't suggest that you ever get into backing up. It's a horrible business. Um, stay in school, Marcus. I don't know how old you are, but my life has become really sad. I love uh, reading. I don't know how to do it, but I do love it. Etching requires the slightest of hand. Do you see this? This is how it really is. See, I tricked you. Uh, I'm like a stone, and I learned a lot about how to trust your hands, how to trust the woods, how to trust guns. I keep them under my bed. They're also in my attic, which uh, I just have a basement. I don't have an attic because I live underground. What was the question again? Oh, no. Gotta stop this now.